So 343 just released a blog and a video talking about the battle pass coming in for the winter update, which comes with 30 free tiers of great stuff, which we're going to look over the whole thing in this video. And also we have some leaked images about what they hinted at for the winter contingencies. But if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Eat your heart, Jerry Hook. Sean Barron's coming in to take the reins and show you how to do a live service. Nah, I'm sure it's all good. Campaign co is going to be so good in this game. I'm praising this, man. It's going to be crazy good. Forge beta, dude. Be able to play some new content in the game. You can just go to the Forge UI and just download stuff and play it. It's going to be great. I know some people are kind of ragging on these Forge maps, but like, I don't know, Forge is basically a yeah, development tool, so addition, I'm not too bad actually about being yep. Forge apps. Uh, let's take a look at this battle pass. So what we got here? All right, All right first look. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mark first 5B the Mark unlocked five. step one. Yeah, everyone's everyone's, everyone's getting it. Nice. Everyone's getting it, and just I know I already bought season one battle pass, so I'm not too bad in shape about this. Yeah, we covered all the challenges and stuff like that in the previous video. You guys want to check that out? I went in detail in my previous video. Link to it in this one. We actually, kind of a nice chest piece attachment. I'm liking it. I've always felt like shoulder pads or like symmetrical shoulder pads at least should be like unlocked at the same tier. That's just me personally, though. Yeah, some sort of neck visor looks great. That's like the OG Reach visor, man. That looks cool. Dude, they're really taking their time going through this pass. <laughs> Are we gonna go through all 30 tiers right now? This guy, the one of those videos. 15 minutes long. Oh, I've only even seen in my comments every day when I'm talking about our armor sets coming in again. Like, where's my CQB? Here it is. Yeah, for like a complete tier for just XP and another complete tier for just like an emblem. Like, you should like combine those or something, man. It just doesn't really feel that rewarding to get that as a tier. I wish we could get a mustache in here. Coming in season five, mustaches. Oh my God, I used to rock this shoulder pad all the time back in Halo Reach. This one right here. This is like, I'm going to be using this one. Absolutely going to be using this shoulder pad. There we go. CQC also looks nice. That's a nice looking helmet. Another great visor. This one's like got a really nice blue tint to it. So it's bluish green. Really awesome. Again, call back to original Reach visors. Wait, but it's just, it's just yellow though. That's a coating. It's just yellow. We already just have that one. Oh, we got the knives coming up, though. There we go. Now, this is what everyone's been wanting to see the bots walking around with like eight knives on them. This is why, right here. And then a third knife on your chest because why not, you know? And one's a throwing knife, man. Come on, obviously. Oh, uh, classic. Classic reach helmet right there. Not too bad of a pass, honestly. Like, I have my own specific things that I would like to see change, but overall, like, so, looking CQC, pretty good. Yep. All right, we've seen a lot of leaks about the winter contingency stuff. Yeah, holiday themed rewards, stuff like that. So, I mean, we've seen them leaked around for the last, like, year, so we'll see what happens. I think we finally cracked the technology we needed to to uh, make a hat that goes on a helmet. A hat that goes on a helmet. Okay, I'll do, I'll do my research and figure out what this is. Yeah, the best part of all those things is that you're going to be able to move through all the tiers of the events in the Battle Pass uh, using Match XP. Okay, wait, first of all, I want to clarify this. Actually, Shop Marin did clarify this statement because that's a little misleading. Saying that the events in the Winter Update won't use Match XP to progress. They'll use the update challenge system. Match XP for events is coming down the road. Apologize for the confusion. So just keep that in mind when he said that. I know what he meant, but he didn't say it right. Oh, we got like the live action version this time compared to just what we saw from the blog and update. And this also well, contributes not very much what I expected. Winter. The main main way we're getting the data for that is through the, uh, the 30 level battle pass. <laughs> And the reason why they say, like, reason why they're looking into data about it is because they mentioned within the blog update that the numbers that we're going to be seeing for the match XP isn't going to be really finalized. It's kind of a rough idea of what they're expecting to have for comes of progression, but they will tune these things and they will change the experience earned per match depending on what they see in the data. And if they do make those changes, you know, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Playlist mode specific challenges. Anymore. Very clear community feedback that people didn't Thank like you yeah. so much about this change. <laughs> oh, wow. What a, what a crazy concept right there, man. But yeah, like the mode specific stuff, it was just annoying. Like I came across so many times when I was playing where I would be in a group, like playing on my stream or something like that. Having some fun, granting out challenges and like social slayer, and then like I get nothing but like free for all challenges popping up. I go, Well, it's been great playing with you guys, but I need to play some free for all to continue my progression through the battle pass and get some cool unlocks. So it just, or if I, when I didn't do that, it just felt like it was even more uh, like a thing back in my head, like you're not optimizing your time, Kevin. You gotta f focus on those challenges if you wanna get all the cool stuff and be able to sh play around with it. So, I mean, yeah. I like this change. Yes, they lowered it. Thank you. I love this. Lowered it down to 10 challenges for the week. Thank God. I know some people are able to grind through it super fast, but for me, not so much. 
And that's not everything either. There's a lot of stuff going with this update. We are planning on doing another quality of life update before the end of the year. Nice. Ooh, so, nice. Another so quality of life before the end of the year. So we got like correct. maybe a drop pod finally. All right. They did tie this up with a blog as well. So let's go read through that and see if there's anything extra about this winter update battle pass stuff. With the battle pass preview winter update bloggy goodness right here. So let's go see what they have there to say. Oh, we're going to get some free stuff. It looks like it says based on the fan favorite Halo Reach Cosmetics, the battle pass celebrates a year of Halo Infinite with a return to the Heroes of Reach theme. And speaking of so celebrations make sure you head over to the shop when the update drops to pick up your free birthday bash kill effect which i mean this looks pretty awesome so i'm quite happy about that i i, I feel like after one year kind of like a player celebration if you will i think it's very well needed and this looks awesome and well so hopefully it gets like the grunt birthday effect with it would be kind of fun as well but we'll have to wait and see and actually that's all the new information from the blog so kind of where they uh, create a whole blog just to kind of say that part is why you get some free stuff maybe they just forgot to mention it in the video but yeah so so you got some interesting stuff coming in here for the winter update guys again for the cosmetics alone not too crazy i mean pretty much like halo reach stuff that we we're expecting to get it eventually but overall i think it does look really nice like i mentioned while watching the video that like having specific tiers dedicated to like an xp boost or like an emblem uh not that exciting and i've always kind of felt that with the battle pass that like if you have you know symmetrical shoulder pads that should just be kind of like one tier because generally you want to rock both of them right uh it could be a way to kind of like stretch out the content a little bit more when there might not be like a full like third tier pass available kind of thing now sean baron mentioned something about a hat when it came to some of the customization for the winter contingency well here are some leaked data mine items that we've seen are actually around for at least a year now these actually might be coming in this time around he mentioned some hats i mean we got like a sandy santa claus kind of hat we have like a reindeer kind of antlers hat kind of thing we had the snowman hat a little pickaxe like icicle kind of thing and you can see the different kind of a whole like wintery kind of cold looking kind of camo thing this is all data mining kind of stuff like you got a snowflake weapon charm you got a half eaten gingerbread man uh, you got like a snow effect kind of like on the shoulders kind of like an ice spikes coming out something like that kind of interesting also kind of like a snow maybe like spawn in death effect kind of thing kind of cool as well but so i think this is, might be something that they're mentioning obviously this is leaked uh, data information so can't take it directly for its word but i would think it'd be safe to bet that this is probably somewhere in the game and might be coming around with the winter contingency and i've heard a lot about like the customization and also about the different things that are coming with the winter update but we actually do have an update about the server fixes about the ping fluctuation and things like that and one of the lead devs at 343 says that the matchmaking is a little too sweaty if you want to know what that's more about that if you want to know more about that check out this video right here thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one peace out